Whew. Man, after a long day's work and working in this mine, I'm kind of sick and finally go home and visit my house. Oh my gosh. What is all this metal contraption that's around my house now? Oh well. We'll see what it is. No! My diamonds! What is this evil? Why? Why? Interesting intro, wouldn't you guys say? Um, well, this is actually something I came up with. It is an electric fence. What's it, what's it, what's it do? Well, it just has a lot of high voltage power in it. And it just cycles the power around and will protect you from mobs. Yes. And this is the on and off button. You just hit it once, it turns it on, hit this again, turns it off. If the red light is on, that means don't go near it. Because <laughs> that'd be the last thing you ever do. And to show how tough it is, or how much power it has, um. Iron Golem Spawn. Iron Golem Spawn. Let's see. Three, four. Four hits. It kills Iron Golems. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to build this and what it details to make. So see you in a second. Alright, so I have the basic materials necessary to build the first part of it. And I'll explain how or why certain things had to be built a certain way. First thing, go to creative seconds. Now, in order for it to work properly, you have to actually set things up a certain way. It has to have two HV transformers and um, another, and then the MF. S use there. Then you can take this and put that there. Sorry, I don't know why you you could actually just use regular HV cable, it doesn't really matter. BS yes, this is high voltage cables I'm using. And then one, two three one two three four so and then I'm using a laptop guys, so care it's just annoying I annoying, I know. One, two, three, four. And there. Two, two. The whole point of the uh system here is it's this is a really high resource intensive system. So, I'll explain why certain things have to be put a certain way. This A2 transformer takes the high voltage and turns it to extreme voltage, which allows it to travel further, further distances without being uh, drained some. So, but there's a little difference though. You can't actually do this regularly. Uh, you had to actually put a redstone torch right there to actually enable it to do that. So I'll put this here, put this here, put this here. And then it took me like four tries to finally get this right. And there you go. You now have an HV, uh, well, whoops, a high volt, you have a high voltage, what's it called now, power, electric fans now. Just to explain what I did with the, uh, how I made the borders, this is just simple stuff. I put the border, the little corner pieces here in the sides, put that there. That there, that there, and I just repeated the whole process 
in the line. And that's all I did. I'll, and I'll be right back in, be right back in just one second. Alright, so there is one flaw in a way I could say that there is with the uh with this system. If see the way I had it originally set up was the power looped back into the MFSU, but then that can be a problem because then it stopped sending power because its own self was full. It didn't want to work right. So I made it link into a mass fabricator so that all the power just goes into the mass fab. Yeah, it, although uh, the furthest distance that you can travel, it can travel is pretty good distance because uh, right here it's about 777. Uh, EU per tick, and right here it's about 750, 760, somewhere around there. So you could make a pretty big area with just two of these things. Although it won't be much power to MFS or to mass fabricator in the end. Mm, that's okay. Now I need a button. I'm going to show you how I made this system. And also the reason why I had to <clears throat> add the, uh, what was it, why I put that iron block underneath that. So what I did was dug down. Also, I'm sorry about the view distance, something like that being set so low. Oh, man. I have a very slow computer. So sorry if it's a little stuttery. That's nothing I can really do much about. Now, where is it? Well, okay, here we go. So, we need to place something on... I forgot something important. Whoops. This actually has to be that. That can go there, and then... Okay, let's see what's here. Yeah. That'll work. And then we need to place this... Nope. No, okay, it's right. Okay. Perfect. Now that this is like that, um... Whoa. Actually, I need to place this a bit differently now. You know what? I'll do this on the ground. So it'll be a lot simpler to understand. Okay. Now, the logic behind the uh, this little system here is this is a switch gate in red power, which can just be a simple T flip in vanilla redstone if you don't have red power. But you have a button here that connects like that, and then you have out here. Uh, on the other side. This is really laggy. This is why I don't record mods anymore. Ah. And then place it back. Whoops, wrong button. And then you right click this. And it's safe to walk next to again. But now you don't know how, or you can't tell if it's safe or not. So you just do, do, oh. Like that. 
and then just build a thing like that. So it's on the side of that, a light thing. You know, once I found out about the light things, I just used them a lot now. <laughs> I like the lighting in Red Power, it's awesome. And there. Wait. Nope, this is wrong. This is wrong, guys. Sorry about that. But that needs to go there. Because... Uh, let's see, let's go there. Go there. Okay. What went wrong, I just realized, is that if it connects, now, now, uh, it's safe now. The light is not on. Hit this. When the red light's on, you get killed. And that's the simple logic behind the... It, but, yeah. And that's the simple logic behind the electric fence. So. To recap. I got a small one since so since it's a lot less room. So MFSU into uh HV transformer with a redstone torch HV uninsulated cables looped around the area into an HVA transformer taking that extreme voltage back down to high voltage and into a mass fab three I know guys high voltage solar arrays that is an extreme ridiculous amount of power but it's worth it because that's pretty much all you're going to be able to because that's the only way you can be able to provide enough power that these lose overnight and actually let's look at this what's oh yeah it's off and I just killed myself again great well that's it folks thanks for watching hopefully you like this and Hypnotoad if you put this into your uh into your uh, videos something you should know though or actually anyone who's trying to put this into their uh, worlds this is with iron two hits two hits you get killed with iron diamond with diamond armor do, 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 do. Put the uh, diamond armor on. And with that, you get killed in four hits. Four hits, it kills you if you have diamond on. And then let's check with. Nano suits. Nano suit uh, pieces when come. Yeah. Even when combined together, let's see. You don't get hurt. So, if you're building this, I would suggest you get Nanosu armor so you don't get yourself killed. And as you can see, if you look at, look at the uh, look at that, look how fast it's turning in Nanosu armor. And imagine making a maze of this. <laughs> That'd be crazy but yeah thanks for watching guys and see you next time